What's up, homies? This is Sergeant Van, uh, and I'm doing a little uh, newer playthrough here of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we're still gonna be doing Fallout 3, but uh, I wanted to add another game to the uh, to the twist, I guess you could call it. Um, so yeah, Fallout New Vegas is a uh, newer game. It's kind of relatively similar to Fallout 3, except it takes place in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada area um, instead of DC, which is cool. Um, so yeah, and there, you know, there, there were new guns and new stuff like that, and it looks obviously a lot different since it's had like a desert instead of a huge ass city. So, yeah, that's, that's different. And I'm just, I'm filling you in if you haven't played this game. Obviously, if you've played it, you kind of know what, but, you know, yeah, yeah. So, I'm gonna fix all the audio so you guys can hear me over everything. This may take a few seconds. Uh, oh, and by the way... For some reason, my recording device, the HD PVR, will not record anything that's just fully black. Like, it will not record a black screen at all. So, if, if there's any any loading screens in Fallout 3, because I know, like, half of them are just black screens with a little white thing that's spinning, it will not record because it's racist and it does not like black screens, that's why. So, um, and then cutscenes too, sometimes they have, like, fades and stuff like that that it cannot record. Kind of sucks, but you know what? We'll deal with it. We will deal with it. Moving on, let's go ahead and uh, start this up after I can save my content. Ah, uh, these cutscenes, though. I swear, these these New Vegas and Fallout 3 cutscenes, I might just make my name Sergeant Van Poops on Fallout New Vegas cutscenes. Because, holy crap, these cutscenes are uh, extremely large. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, loading. Loading and cutscenes at the same time. I'm not sure like games when they load and they have cutscenes at the same time. So much better than just having millions of loading screens. Some drunk military people. I, you know, that that's the one kind of voice I can't do with like a drunk person's voice. I can't really do that. And then this badass pops up with his sniper rifle. Or just sniper rifle. He gonna shoot him in the face with a sniper rifle. You ready for this? Bam! That had to hurt. Ow. Ow, I'm glad I'm not that guy. Anyways, so yeah, these guys are like the jackasses of, uh, of this, uh, this game. By that I mean the bad guys, not like the guys that like jump off of mountains and land into like... Not lava, but you know, you know what I'm saying, like the movie jackass. And that's when my, my PVL froze twice. It was like gay. So yeah. Yep. There you go. Production value has sunk. Oh, and this guy, Doc Mitchell. Another jackass. Another jackass. Hey, uh, what are you talking about? I'm not the jackass. Uh, yes, yes, you are the jackass. Okay. Uh. Can you tell me your name? So what should my name be? I never want to do another poops on someone just because that's kind of funny. Uh, but I don't, I don't think cutscenes will fit. We will try it, but I don't think cutscenes will fit. But I wonder if there's like a better name that I could be using. Cause I, yeah, I don't, I honestly don't think Fallout, or even if I did FNV and just shortened it, I don't think that's gonna fit. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We will see, I guess. The F to the N to the V, Fallout New Vegas cutscene. Ah. Alright, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't fit. That kind of sucks. There goes that idea. Alright, now we can either do Doc Mitchell or Victor. Because Victor is this annoying ass robot. And I think we'll do Victor because uh, Doc Mitchell will not probably fit. So that would suck if it doesn't. And I put it. Yeah, and by the way, that's Doc Mitchell, who we're looking at right now. And the reason why I think he's annoying is because all he does is talk about how, like, our name sucks. And it's, I don't know, it's really annoying. Uh, he talks too much, but honestly, I kind of just want to get on with the game. Get out to the wasteland. Give me that damn... That damn reflection, the Robco reflection. 
I'll probably go with the same character model as uh, as last time. Maybe this time with the mustache, because I know mustaches are awesome. Or I don't really like that one, but we'll do rough beard. I think that looks pretty cool. I look like an old man now, but whatever. Who cares? Who qu Who cares? I look like an old, an old Italian Elvis, basically. I'm a 80 year old Elvis that shoots shotguns in people's faces in the new hobby or oh, the new hobby what the hell am i saying the new vegas wasteland the new hobby what the hell is that follow 27 we are at the new hobby wasteland so yeah i look pretty cool i got kind of a chubby face but you know whatever i got some chubby cheeks i'm gonna dance a little bit take that gun case walk around what is in here nothing yeah we will definitely be looting this house I'm gonna say that probably not now probably uh, after we're done uh, you know doing this whole video vitro matic vigor tester thing did I really just say that right video matic vigor tester thing I really just did say that right that's pretty awesome that is pretty awesome so I don't think I've ever said that right before, and I've tried a lot. And I'm thinking about bringing strength up, but I just want to see what it does. That's why I'm going all the way back. So strength, melee unarmed, melee unarmed, inventory weight, damage, weapon effectiveness. Hell yes. I'm actually going to go take one off charisma and put it on that too. Because weapon effectiveness, you you got to have that high, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that you got to have that up there. So, saying that, you know, obviously, I'm gonna be using the weapon effectiveness. Uh, too bad C, charisma, is all the way at the back. But whatever. I had to bring it all the way back to the front and stuff. Huh, stim packs, I love stim packs. And you don't know what stim packs are, they're like, uh, kind of like medkits. Well, they are medkits, basically, they're just a cool name for it, like, they, uh, they give you a lot of health. Um, the only thing that does more is a drug called Buff Out, but you can get addicted to that, and then you always have to take it, and it kind of screws you over for like the rest of you, basically the rest of Fallout, because you get addicted to that, which actually happened to me the first time I played Fallout 3, which is back in 09 when I got it. I, you know, I was really, really bad because I had no clue what I was doing, right? And I was playing on like very hard because I thought it was so cool. But let me just make sure my difficulty is on normal. Alright, we're good. Uh, but anyway, so, back when I played Fallout 3, or originally played Fallout 3, you know, I, I get up there, and why did I just sit down? I, um, I, I, you know, I leave the vault, and I start walking around, right? After about an hour or two, I find this big stash about, you know, five buff out or something like that. So, obviously, and I see it says HP plus 90, so I'm like, holy shit, I'm taking this stuff. Like, I thought it was like... Uh, you know, super stin pack of Fallout 3, because, you know, in New Vegas, they have super stin packs, which are actually really good for you. But, uh, in Fallout 3, they did not. So, basically, yeah, that's what I thought they were. So, I take, like, two of them, uh, when I'm getting raped by super mutants. I get addicted to it. And when you get addicted to something, like, you, you basically lose out on a lot of stuff. Like, if, let's say that you got addicted to Buffalo. I'm not sure exactly what you lose, but, like, you lose two strength, like, two agility, two everything, basically. And it kind of sucks, because you need those really bad. So, yeah, you know, not, not the best, you know, originally at this game, but whatever. Anyways, this damn questions you've got to ask me are so annoying. Human shield, though. Like, who would choose that? Who, who, who would choose that? I think regret would be kind of funny, because... Uh, what, what can you regret, you know? Okay. It's a mystery. I, a I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Okay, strongly disagree right off the bat. Strongly disagree right off the bat. By the way, check out the Fallout 3 Let's Play if you have not. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of a random thing just to say that right now. But, uh, but yeah, so check that out if you, uh, would like to. Pretty, pretty cool. Well, I'm only episode 3, but I'm pretty sure episode 4 and 5 will be up by the time this goes up. So, you know what? You never know. You never know. 